And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be getting rank 3 with a Vanu Vanu. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, while I've been busy playing so many other games, I'm quite far behind on certain content, but I want to get it done anyway. So, the rank 3 quest is called Linu's Lovely Bones. So it says, new friends have brought fortunate news to Linu Valley's ears. The video of these quests will be synced to your current level. And I'm doing this all on my 56 Dark Knight, just so I can get the experience on this alt class. So let's go for it. So accept. So Mifri, many from Ogzondu come to share in Ranu Valley and Inu, Vanu's wisdom. Like trees in Grove, our roots become more intertwined each passing day. Ranu shares the secrets of Gondu botany, and Inu spends long hours exchanging advice with Zondu cloud fishers. Lunu swells with pride at success of village, but shame nags at her like single midge buzzing in ear. If she cannot perform Sundrop dance in the heat of battle, then she is no more used to the village than newborn hatchling. But now is not the time for self pity. Ra Ranu Valley's friend from Ogzondu tells intriguing story around cooking fires. While delivering tribute to Vundu, Ranu's friend notices, notices group mercilessly beating Vanu wearing Gondu colors. Another Gondu approaches the group, shouting no more violence, but the Vondu mock his pleas and chase him from the village. Lina Valley has an old friend, G Jinu Vanu, who says something ever since um, nestling days so who says same thing ever since nesting days mifri must help him before he faces punishment for his words uh, mifri does not fear violent vondu's youth please come to vondu ok bendu with linu valley with mifri's help we bring friend back safely to ok gondu naki cool so the names are kind of annoying and as well um, one thing that happened, when I hit rank 3, um, I had one quest spare, and I decided not to turn it in, so that as soon as I ranked up, then I'll turn it in and get some extra points, rather than wasting points on a capped rank, when I'm not going to get any more reputation out of it. You'll be missing out on 50 points for no reason if you let that happen. So, not that it matters for me personally, because I'm already like 2 or 3 weeks behind, but so be it. As long as we get this done before the next Beast Tribe comes out, that that is the the hope. Just so I can stay on top of it, because there was in A Realm Reborn five Beast Tribes. There was the Amalja, the Sylphs, the Kobolds, the Hagen, and the Xali. And at the end of maxing out all five of them, there was an actual epic quest line called Friends Forever, which you can also see on my YouTube channel, which um, was like the combination of all five tribes. So, I don't know if they're going to release five Beast Tribes in this expansion, but who knows, if they do, then we will, maybe it will be the same thing, and we'll, there will be like a culmination event. So, I would like to get it done, but I said, for most of 3.1, I've really been just enjoying other games. I haven't had the motivation that I used to have towards this game, only because the gap between 3.0 and 3.1 was so long that I was able to complete five games in that time. So five single players completely finished them. So that was too long of a wait. Anyway, here is Lino Valley. So Lino sees no Vandu patrolling area, but we must act quickly. Like storm during monsoon season, they are never far away. Here, take bones of Sanuwa Mifri. Lino carves Mark only her and Jinu Vanu recognize. When Jinu sees Mark, he knows that Linu comes to rescue him. Place bones throughout Vondu Ok Gondu, sorry, Bendu in trail leading to hiding spot and he follows. Jinu Vanu spends many moons under burial rule of Vondu and he may fear consequences of being captured. But when Linu Valley tells him of Ok Gondu Naki, the promise of a new home gives him courage to come with us. Mifri, place bones around Vandu Ok Bendu and guide Jinu Vanu back to us. Linu Valley keeps watch for any Vandu patrols. 
Yeah. So each beast tribe has got their own way of speaking. And I'll be honest, this is not as bad as some of the other beast tribes. Okay, let's hand over. But, well, we're just placing the bones, as he said, so we can have a trail for them to hide. Let's actually read it. So, it says, across the face of this massive femur salvaged from the courts of an unidentifiable creature has been carved an intricate hauling pattern that represents the everlasting bonds of friendship between Lino Valley and Ginu Vanu. Nice. Fair enough, fair enough. So, we need to put this here. Yep. If we can avoid fights, then great. I don't know if he ever turns. Oh. Sorry. I mounted too quickly. There we go. So let's get the third one now. Uh, nope. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do it without aggroing, but let's hope we can. Done. So let's get out of here. Uh huh. And uh, basically, if you missed it before, there's some of the Vanu Vanu who have been kind of banished from these sort of, you know, the controlled beast tribe, the one that's 100% loyal to Bismarck. And they're trying to now establish a new home base. That's what they're doing. That's what we're helping them to do. So uh, that's basically the goal of the Vanu Vanu is to establish a new base for them. Cool. So let's report to Lino Valley, who's right there. And in case you're wondering, in case you don't know, to get the Trentani amount, you have to recruit friends to the game. And you'll be given these golden feathers for doing that. Do I have any on me? I don't have any on me right now. But once you get 15 of those feathers, golden ones, which means like once the people you've recruited have started paying for the game, then eventually you can buy the Twintania at 15. So anyway, Lino Valu says, the bones guide Ganu Vanu to us, and now we wait. Cool. Waiting. So Gondu Remble, surrender or else. As ever, Lino scares easily at nestling lost in dark. When Genu sees marks of bones, he knows his friend is come. Genu to meet again brings Lino great joy. He looks healthy as crops after nourishing spring rain. Lino feels along the other Gondu, and his Neveling rescues us from capture. Thanks to her help, Tri rescues sorry, received gifts from Zondu, a new island to call home. Uh, Jinu Vanu returned with us to Ok Gondu Naki and share knowledge of Gondu carpentry to make our modest village grand. Do not fear, Mifri guides us back safely. Or safely back. So if Jinu says no, he is more foolish than the Vanu who plants seeds during drought. No matter how modest village is, it is surely preferable to suffering longer under Vondu abuse. Uh, a Gondu patrol. Quickly, hide before they pluck our feathers and throw us in sky cages. Wait, Lunu practices Sundrop dance day and night, and now the time comes to prove herself. But Gondu look fierce, and Lunu cannot hope to strike down, so to strike fear into the hearts without inspiration. Mifri, show Lunu the dance of your tribe. Oh dear God. Mouse in his strength with your mighty dance, and she will send the Gondu fleeing quickly. Okay. So, yep, let's dance. Da 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 
So Luna feels a warrior spirit within her, coursing through her entire body. Now Mifri, witness the awesome power of Jinu Valley's dance. Chakalaka, plaka, plaka, uja, uja, plata, fruta, plata, hata, tata, lip, 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 hot dogs are tasty, da, da, da. Cool. If only the old blacks could do that, Junahaka. Ha. Huh. They run like cowardly corrigans. Mifri's dance reawakens Luna Valley's ferocity and brings forth true might of her sundrop dance. Come, let us return to Ogzondu and speak with Sonu Vanu before patrol returns. Okay, so let's teleport back to Ogzondu. Right, so this way. And here we go. Let's turn in this quest. Live the firewood. Speak with. Oh, no, sorry. That's the, that's the other quest. So we actually have to speak to Sonu Vanu first. Wee. I would have wasted that quest if I'd done it in that, that point. Sonu Vanu is the leader of this tribe. So, Chief Zonu, today Lunar Valley brings before you Jinu Vanu, the greatest builder of the Gondu tribe, and a dear friend. Ah, many Vanu tell stories of great Gondu architecture, and today a renowned builder st stands before us. Zanu has much interest in hearing Jinu Vanu's wisdom. Well, he's changed his tone. Ah, Zonu apologizes for his interruption. Forgive me, Chief Zonu. Ha, there is no need to for apologies. Like the precious of crystals, Gondu culture possesses many facets. All Gondu have much to look forward to as our tribes grow closer. I salute you. Cool. So now we can talk to Yeah, we can talk to Linu Valley. So let's do that. And then we can see what progress the camp has made. Because this camp, these sort of like islands they have, is slowly being built up. Okay, that's that person. Oh here we go. So let's talk to Linu Valley. So, okay, Zondu Naki is alive with the sound of celebration, and Linu has fin finally dances. Like skies on clear summer day, she is free from worry. Occasion calls for hearty feast. Linu Valley eats until stomach can hold no more, and then practices dance until sun itself smiles in approval. Alas, Ok Gondu Naki still lacks a leader, a strong chief. Brother is yet trapped in Sky Cage, hanging somewhere in vast cloud sea. Although Brother's whereabouts remain a mystery, Lunu Valley swears to find him one day. Mifri, when the day comes, the Gondu may call on your aid once more. Okay, that's complete. So we can see progress is now being made. So the camp is slowly being developed. 
Why not? So Genu Vanu has started construction on the chief's roost. Nice. So obviously every time we rank up, we're going to see a bit more progress on the island, which is really good. Really cool. The reputation up. Your reputation has increased to friendly. You have achieved allied reputation with the Gondu. New Vanu Vanu Beast Tribe Daily Quest now available from Manu Vanu at Ogondunaki. Additionally, you will receive an experience bonus uh, bonus upon the completion of Vanu Vanu Beast Tribe Daily Quests. Furthermore, you now have access to a wider selection of wares from La Luna Vanu. Cool. And we got the achievement when the the getting is gone due to. So let me quickly check the vendor, see if there's anything interesting at rank three. Okay. So where is the vendor? What we can quickly do as well, we can turn in this quest. The one that we had saved over from before. Okay, complete. So, as well, when you rank up, you're given access to three new ones, which I won't do in this episode, but yeah. But anyway, let's um, let's just check the vendor. Is it Lanu Vanu, apparently? So, purchase items, friendly. So, let's see. We can get a Cold Knight's Cook Fire. And that's it. I think that's the new item for this rank. So, ten more quests will hit us to rank four. Do free today and so on. So it'll take probably, if I do them each day, it'll take le like half a week to do if I actually play the game. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.